The United States has called on Iraq's government to stop using violence against protesters, reform its electoral system, and hold early elections after weeks of unrest in which security forces have killed nearly 300 protesters. The protests that began on October 1 were initially focused on a lack of jobs and services, but quickly morphed into denunciation of the sectarian power-sharing system of government introduced in 2003 and the political elites that say benefit, they say benefit from it. Security forces have used live ammunition, tear gas and stun grenades against mostly young and unarmed protesters, killing more than 280 people. The White House press secretary said in a statement posted by the UN Embassy in Baghdad on Monday that the United States joined the U an assistance mission to Iraq in calling on the Iraqi government to hold the violence against protesters and fulfill President Saleh's promise to pass electoral reform and hold early elections. Iraqi leaders agreed on Sunday that electoral reforms should give more chance for young people to participate in politics and break the monopoly and power of political parties that have dominated state institutions since 2003.